time is Amy from the New City Library, and we've been traveling around the world with Storytime. Today, we will visit Canada. Let's start by looking at our map. Here we are in the United States, just above us is Canada. Canada is a large country that is also part of North America. In Canada, they speak two languages, English and French. So just like here in the United States, if you wanted to say uh, a greeting to a friend or a classmate or a neighbor, you would say hello. If you wanted to say hello in French, you would say bonjour, also means good day. The flag of Canada is red and white with a maple leaf in the center. Canada has many maple trees and they make delicious maple syrup for our pancakes and waffles. Popular sport in Canada is hockey. This is a hockey puck. They push it around with sticks on ice into a goal, just kind of like soccer. Canada has lots of really cool animals like fish and bears and beavers and moose. So let's read a little bit about Canada. My first story is nonfiction with lots of information and facts. It's called Let's Explore Canada by L. Parks and I'm reading it to you with permission from Learner Books. A visit to Canada. Canada is a country. It is in North America. Canada is north of the United States. Canada has tall mountains. It has deep lakes. There are many forests. Moose live in Canada's forests. Moose have big antlers. Fir trees grow in the forest. Birch trees do too. Canadians use wood from these trees to build sleds. Canada has big cities. Toronto is the biggest. The CN Tower is in Toronto. The CN Tower is very tall. Many people like to visit Canada. People ski down the mountains and they fish in the lakes. Poutine is a popular food. It has fries, it has gravy, and cheese. Hockey is a top sport. Many people play hockey. Others like to watch it. Canada is a beautiful country. There are many things to see. Would you like to visit Canada? I know I've visited Canada and it's quite lovely. It's just north of us in New York and it's actually close enough to drive to. So it's a kind of a nice place. So our story is over and we say the end. Our next story is about animals in Canada. It's called Moose Goose Animals on the Loose and I'm reading it to you with permission from Owl Kids. Here they come, Canadian animals running, jumping, swimming, and roaring your way. A is now arriving, Arctic Fox. B is for beaver, building branch by branch, and a big, bold bison. C is for caribou, carrying cuddly calf. D is for dragonflies, dart and dip. E is for eagle, eat, eaglet, eat. F is for frog, feasting on flies. G is for Canada goose, gosling, grazing on grass. H is for hare, hop, hop, hop. I is for ivory, gulls in flight. J is for Jiggle Joggle Jellyfish. K is for King Size Killer Whale. L is for Loons Laughing on the Lake. M is for Magnificent Mighty Moose. N is for Narwhal, Native of the North. O is for Otter Out on the Ocean. P is for powerful, playful, 
polar bear. Q is for quiet quail. R is for ring-tailed raccoon. S is for striped skunk. T is for trio, turtle, toad, and trout. U is for beluga whale upside down. U is for walrus underwater. V is for voracious vultures. W is for wolf. Oh! X is for exuberant muskox and exotic lynx. Y is for yellow jacket, yellow throat, and yellow legs. Yellow, yellow, yellow. Z is for fuzzy, grizzly, grizzly bears. The end. I hope you liked our visit to Canada. Come again and we'll travel to another country.